Welcome to the land of rogues. It is me, the Rokage, here with another what if. And in today's what if, we're doing what if Naruto was like Minato, or what if Naruto and Minato merged, basically. Let's get into the what if. Wait, 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 wait. Alright you guys, this would have really starts off after uh, Minato sailed away to Kayubi. Now Minato is approached by the Shinigami in his, in, inside of the Shinigami's belly. Or his spirit, the Shinigami's spirit. But Minato will be called by the Shinigami. Um, Minato will turn around not knowing who it is. And will say, who's there? When he will turn around again, he will see the Shinigami standing right behind him. As Minato will jump back to Sh Shinigami. What can I do? for you today. Well, <clears throat> Minato, I think it's time that you need to be there for your son. Or, <clears throat> I have a, there's something that your son needs you for. What, what, what are you talking about? Minato, that mask guy you fought was not Madara. How could? What do you mean it's not Madara? Of course it's Madara. Who else could tame a tail beast? Someone Madara Uchiha trained could tell the tail beast. Could train? Uh, could tame a tail beast. Look, it's hard to explain, but I'm gonna do something for you. Well, more for your son. What do you mean? I'm going to merge you and your son together. Or basically seal you inside of your son inside of a memory merger. Which will merge your memories of all your jutsus, your chakra, and your training with his body. Along with him gaining more of your phys Well, he'll mostly just get longer hair. Like yours. And within that time, you have to, you have till, I uh, see around, I yeah, actually don't know. You have some time till he truly needs, when he truly needs it is when it awakens. But you have time, Minato. <clears throat> because, after, while I'm placing you in the seal, I will be removing the nine tails from you and putting it back, putting the full thing inside of Naruto. What, but no, he, no, Minato. It's what needs to be done to stop what's coming. I made the Shinigami the god of death, but that doesn't mean that I always, that death is always necessary. Minato, if this was to happen, there would, there would be death on a scale that no one's ever seen before. It's not good. So yes, I will be giving Naruto the full nine tails. You got that, Minato? Yes, Shinigami. Good. <clears throat> now, you his body will under he will be put in probably like a three to six month coma for his body to undergo the changes to be able to handle your jutsus, your top speed. Basically just merging your everything good about you with Naruto. And his chakra will still continuously grow like it was a child. Like that's how big he is as a child. Imagine his reserves when he's a full grown adult. When he's a full grown adult. Imagine that Minato. Yeah, I guess. No what parent doesn't want their child to be strong. You understand now? Yes. Wait, if you know it was a martyr under a mask, who was it? Damn. Minato, it was, it was Obito Uchiha. What do you mean? There's no way. Obito died years ago. Well, he did it, and Madara Uchiha found him. Madara survived the Valley of the End and orchestrated events, which caused the death of Ring, the supposed death of Obito. But he didn't anticipate for Obito to give Kashi his Sharingan. But Obito, he orchestrated Ren's death so that Obito would see Ren die so that he would go over to his side instead of coming back to the hidden leaf. So it's all Mara's fault, yes. 
But don't worry, Minato. Your son will be there to stop him. Now you have. Now, like I said, you have. A, I'm gonna say some years before he, it's needed. Till your son, um, to you have till then. To talk over the Nine Tails and tell him exactly what's happening, and hopefully the Nine Tails will agree and help Naruto. You got that? Yes, Shinigami. Good. Now let's go. So now we're gonna say this. This took a uh, in um, Naruto's real in the real world of Naruto it took about three days for this to happen. So Naruto is currently staying with the Saratobis and everything, <clears throat> or with Hiruzen. You know, he's, he's a child before you go before he's put in forced into the orphanage. <clears throat> so here's in in our um here's in his uh, here's in is watching over Naruto and is currently currently sleep actually at the moment, but he's watching over Naruto as like before he puts him in the orphanage. And this is when the Shinigami would appear in front of Naruto. Naruto would begin to cry. But he, you know, it'll wake up Hirzen, but here's him won't arrive in time for him to see the Shinigami. His Shinigami will place his seal, place, place his hand on his on Naruto's um, chest, as the seal would appear. As he would then grab Minato's soul from within his belly, along with the Kaiyubi, separating the two, and placing the Kaiyubi into Naruto's seal on his stomach, and then Minato's soul into Naruto's seal on his chest. Now then, he, here he will wish Minato good luck, and will then disappear. Hiruzen will come in and soothe baby Naruto till he stops crying and everything. And then we'll go back to bed. So now we're going to go to Minato and the landscape. Or, yeah. So Minato is currently in a joint landscape with the QB. And the QB is very happy because it just got its other half of chakra back. And now it's full again. But doesn't think that it, it still thinks that it can't break out of the seal. <clears throat> And Minato will see a door right next to him. Because inside, he, he has, like, his own little room, like a bed, things like that. Even though he lives in, a, in inside of Naruto's mind, or inside of the seal, you know, he's still comfortable, at least. <clears throat> so now Minato will see the door and will open it. When he will open it, he will realize that this door goes to the Kayubi seal. As Minato will say, Kyubi, Nine Tails. Kyuubi would open his eyes to where it sees the fourth Okage. He says, fourth Okage, how dare you seal me in here? He goes to strike, a, um, hit Minato with his palm. But when an invisible, an invisible force would, wouldn't allow this. Minato says, thank you, Shinigami, for your protection. <laughs> what is this? Nothing, Kyuubi. We have some things to talk about, something very important. How important is it for me to talk to you? The revival of Madara Uchiha. So get the QB. Um, QB will be shocked by this, and will basically say continue. Minato will go on to basically explain that Madara Uchiha is trying to resurrect itself and put everyone under the infinite Sukuyomi by gathering all nine Biju and sending them inside of the ghetto statue. Now. Kurama knows exactly what this is going to do. He says, this is not the true plan. Whoever, I don't think this is Madara's plan. Because sealing us inside of the ghetto statue thing using the infinite Tsukuyomi will only release her. Who is her? Kage Otsutsuki. The, the mother of the Sage of Six Paths. And the creator, the um, pro progenitor, progenitor, the creator of all chakra. She is how Chakra first came to the world of, him, of us. An alien goddess. A, a goddess sent from another world. Who ate the Chakra fruit and became the Ten Tails. And with us sealed inside of the, um, the ghetto statue, we'll all become the Ten Tails. And we that damn sure don't want to be inside of that thing again. So, I'll help you. What exactly is it you need? need? I need you to work with my son. <sighs> Fine. Wow, that was easy. Under one condition. Oh man. If I don't, <clears throat> if I don't eventually like it being here after we defeat Moderate, 
I will ask you, tell your your son will have to release me. Fine. I don't know if I can guarantee that, but I can have the Shinigami work something out. Good. Now, how did my other half of Chakra get here? And how are you here? Again, the Shinigami is playing some things to me, sealed me inside of here, took your Chakra from me before sealing me, and sealed it into this seal so that you could become full again. Because apparently Naruto's going to need it, along with all the Jutsu that I know. Huh. Well, this is going to be a date doozy. Yeah, it is. So, right here, we're going to time skip, basically. Because Naruto really had the same vibe. Except for the fact that him and Sasuke are actually friends. Because Naruto decides that he's going to possibly, if he can't be Sasuke, he's going to train with him in order to learn his secrets of how strong, how is he so strong, and then eventually beat him. So, right now, Naruto and Sasuke are walking home. They're around 8 to 9 years old. And, they're, and Naruto's actually walking Sasuke home. And when they would walk into the Uchiha compound, they would see bodies everywhere. And Sasuke would immediately break out into a sprint towards his house. Because as far as he could see, all the Uchiha's that are, um, all, these are all Uchiha's and they're all dead. So he would run to his house to make sure he's okay, his parents are okay. When, when, and Naruto would run after him. Actually being able to keep up with Sasuke in the speed aspect due to Naruto, you know, always running away from somebody. So now, Naruto. So now Naruto is um, basically he's basically caught up to Sasuke and asks where he's going. He sees his parents' house because he needs to check on them. Because Naruto will not and will see that he'll go with him. When they would arrive, they would see Itachi st standing over their dead bodies. As Itachi would see Naruto want to go to attack him. As Naruto would think that he's probably, because Sasuke's behind him, he would think that he's probably going to attack Sasuke too. So Naruto runs at Itachi, bringing out a blunt kunai that he actually got, or an actual kunai that he found at a training field once, and would go to try to block Itachi's sword swipe. Naruto seeing how much in strength and, um, how much the strength difference is between him and Itachi would know that he has to get stronger to protect Sasuke at this moment. And at this moment, Naruto has blocked, um, blocked Itachi's blade, which shocked Itachi. But then Itachi would then use his Mangekyo to put Naruto in the Tsukuyomi. But this Tsukuyomi really doesn't do anything. It's just having Naruto sit on a cross. Naruto is screaming out that he needs to help Sasuke. He needs to be strong enough to help Sasuke. So, Naruto, um, this is when Minato's seal will break. <clears throat> Minato's seal is now breaking. What the fuck? Anyways, Minato's seal is now breaking, and he is now walking out towards Naruto. He's in the, currently inside of the Genjutsu, because Naruto's in it, so why not him too? So, Minato tells QB goodbye. As Naruto is, currently doesn't hear him, as Minato walks up to Naruto, as the seal, as Minato then touches Naruto's seal that's on his chest, as he, his soul and memories begin to merge with Naruto, putting Naruto into a coma. So he, when he was in arrive, he would see Naruto there, and would think, "Oh no!" As he, as he has them transport Naruto to the hospital, and will call Jiraiya back to the village immediately, telling him that Naruto's in the hospital, and they don't know what's wrong with him, but he's not waking up. So a couple of days later, Jiraiya would awaken, well, not awaken, would come and check on Naruto. He would think that it's something wrong with the seal. Now, Minato, this memory seal is finally, you know, is, is um, you know, leaving Naruto's body, you know, fading away. But when Jiraiya would um, lift Naruto's shirt up, he would see another seal on his chest and would write down the seal, copy it. And would take this later to study to see if this is probably why. But he would see there's nothing wrong with Naruto's seal. Nothing at all. Well, except that it seems to be opened. But he would think that he doesn't He doesn't think Naruto did it himself. So he would close it, not all the way, but he would close it as much as he could. But Minato might have added another seal so that it wouldn't close all the way. So that Naruto and QB could still, you know, access his power. So it'll barely close. It won't. Well, it'll it'll shut a little. It won't close exactly. 
She says, well, it seems that this is all it'll go for some reason. So, Jiraiya and Hiruzen, um, Hiruzen would, um, have all of his things in an office set up inside of the hospital so that he can watch over Naruto. And we'll ha- and Jiraiya will always be there watching over him, with, along with Kakashi. This is where we're going to time skip five months later. Now, as far as everyone in the class know, and Sasuke especially, Naruto died that night. So, as far as everyone else in the village knows, Naruto died the night of the Uchiha massacre. You know, Sasuke was um, isn't really sad about the fact that Naruto died. Mostly, he's sad about the fact that his brother killed his entire clan, and that he has to get stronger. This when Sasuke will start to become well a lot more. What the fuck? This is when Sasuke will become a lot more needing for power, not wanting no one else to be stronger than him during those months that Naruto was in a coma. It's just as we're going to time skip, I don't know how long. I don't know if I already time skipped already, I just forgot. But we're going to say around six months after the coma, in the city of coma, Naruto will finally be waking up. As during the coma, Jiraiya was studying this seal, noticing and told Hughes that this was a memory merging Basically, like a soul and memory merging seal, and now because he they all noticed that Naruto's hair grew longer, and shaped more like Minato's. They also noticed that Naruto's body began to you know get taller, but not too much. You know, he's around like five foot six, five foot five, five four, five five six, somewhere, somewhere in there, and his body's become a lot more muscular than what it's supposed to be for a child his age. So Naruto, so Naruto and um, his body was getting changed. So Jiraiya went to go study this other seal that Hiruzen didn't even know was there because he wasn't there the night he wrapped up Naruto and took him in. And when he told Hiruzen about it, Hiruzen was thinking, and was thinking that maybe. Minato did something, and this is because he noticed that Naruto was taking on more of Minato's appearances and everything. So he thinking that maybe that was my phone. Maybe Minato had um, did something that merged his so that made him look like that made that merged him with Naruto or something. This is what they have. This is this is what they all they have right now. So Naruto would eventually wake up. Fully, you know, that look around the room. And Jiraiya and Hiruzen have kunai behind them. Now, this is not no ordinary kunai. These are both three-pronged kunai. Say, Naruto, you're okay? You know, they're preparing for something. Naruto can see on their face just that Hiruzen is scheming about something. And this man with the white hair is too, for some reason. And they pull out kunai from behind their back. And Naruto says, no, don't kill me. As they throw the kunai, as Naruto feels uh, like a, tw- a tingle in the back of his head. So he follows that tingle and is shot towards the kunai. As Naruto and the kunai um, leave a hole through the wall from Naruto moving so fast, not fully controlling it yet, and him moving through the wall. As soon as Jiraiya is just looking astonished. Naruto woke up being able to synchronize with Minato's kunai, which means that because they all know that Minato's kunai or his oration is or kunai seal is synced to his chakra alone, which means that Naruto somehow, their theory that Minato merged with Naruto is somehow true. That maybe this is, oh damn, this is a fire. He's thinking that maybe. Minato found some way to merge his abilities with Naruto, to give Naruto an edge for something. Jirai was telling Hiruzen that he's taking Naruto to Minato's house and giving him everything that's rightfully his and will be training him. But he has to keep this a secret for now, until Naruto, he, and he proves Naruto is ready. <clears throat> so Hiruzen would decide... To do this, and we're gonna um, this is when Naruto will be integrated back into the academy. 
when he the first day back, he, Sasuke would run out to Naruto and say, "Why are you alive? Are you haunting me? Why are you haunting me, Naruto?" Naruto walks past Sasuke and says, "Hello, class. I'm I'm back." As the as Sasuke sees the entire class look at Naruto, and then she comes and says, "Naruto." You're finally out of the coma. As Naruto says, "You knew." Yeah, well, my dad is kind. My dad kind of knew, and he told me about it. I'm so happy that you're out of it, though. Naruto says, "Thanks, Shikamaru." Shikamaru says, "You're welcome." Sasuke says, "You're real." He'd be happy yet mad that Naruto was one of the only that Itachi attacked Naruto to kill him, but Naruto somehow survived it under his family did. Which will, and this would actually outweigh his happiness that Naruto's alive, causing him to scowl and walk past Naruto up again to him. She looks away. Sasuke goes back to see him against the brood. Zuruko will walk in and see Naruto. He says, Naruto, I, I, I'm happy that you're back. And where have you been? Naruto to say all will be explained in due time. Maybe I'm not sure. The Okaye told me that I had to keep it a secret until he told everyone what happened to me. Oh. <clears throat> well, come on, class. We're going outside to test your skills today. So today they're going to be testing. You're going to be testing your shuriken throwing, kunai. Kunai throwing, your taijutsu, and your your um your clone jutsus and transformation and substitution jutsu. So they would all basically begin to um go outside as Iru as Iruku would first say, all right, everyone, let's go into our kunai throwing. As Naruto reaches into a back pouch. And takes out a kun and takes out a, um, a normal kunai. As Yuki says, "All right, Naruto, you're up." Naruto, well, he um, he hands Naruto a kunai. Naruto says, "I don't want to use these." As Naruto brings out five kunai of his own, five kunai in one hand and five shuriken in the other. As Yuki says, "No, Naruto, that's too dangerous." As Naruto throws them both. Curious. As he still sees Naruto and Mizuki's there too, seeing that Naruto basically hit all five targets somehow. As Sasuke has is having flashbacks to Itachi doing that little shuriken thing. From how good Naruto seems to be at it. So now Sasuke is, you know, a little bit angry. And Mizuki the Zack is really angry because I'm pretty sure Mizuki hates Naruto for being the Naruto Shinchuriki. It's not much of a secret. Well, amongst the older generation. So, Yuriko would then tell everyone to come on so they, they can do their Taijutsu battles. Now, everyone else will be much slower and they'll be now Naruto versus Sasuke. Naruto says, Sasuke, I'm finally going to beat you today. Sasuke says, like you could ever beat me, loser. Naruto says, that hurts, Sasuke. I thought we were friends. We're not friends. Naruto says, I don't know what happened to Sasuke. But he's changed, and I don't like it. Zuruka so starts the match. It's Naruto and Sasuke will rush at each other, but Naruto actually is seeding Sasuke's speed. Would we'll zip past him. And Sasuke will fall to the ground, clutching at his stomach. As he would then pass out. Because Naruto hit him at such an incredible speed. This is actually because, this is actually, a, I believe, a, I'm going to say a month after he um he left the hospital. You know, and Jirai noticed that Naruto's speed was on par with Minato's without the Horatian. All of his reflexes, his fighting skill, his fighting style, was, they were all the same. Naruto also knew the Rasengan, along with Minato's variants of the Horatian and variants of the Rasengan. And somehow, Naruto knew Sage Mode. And Naruto also had high chakra reserves. But they are a lot higher than Minato would. Minato's word. So when um, Iruka and Mizuki would rush to Sasuke to see what happened, they flipped him over and saw a fist 
imprint in Sasuke is good. It's even because it's Naruto is the winner. It's Sasuke's fangirls begin to yell at Naruto. But this is when two girls was yell, shut up. He won fair and square. And he's pretty awesome and strong. So fangirls will be shocked to hear this because these are the two most the two most prominent fangirls. You know it's Sakura yet yeah, saying this to them. It's Sakura you know saying, Wow, Naruto's improved very strong. And he's obviously stronger than Sasuke somehow. Maybe maybe we misjudged him. Maybe he's not annoying like we thought he was. <clears throat> so they um after this Hiroko will tell um everyone to go wait inside and if they'll start their ninjutsu portion. So Naruto would be um would be called as Hiroko would say, Alright Naruto, do it do the um transformation jutsu, then a substitution. Uh, substitution, then transform then shout out the clone jutsu, the normal clone jutsu, and then do the um transformation. Yeah. Naruto will then do the substitution jutsu with the chair, and then would do a would do the hand sign as Uruku say no, as Naruto makes the shadow clone jutsu sign as ten shadow clones appear. Uruku says that's more than what I've ever seen someone do. It's more than what most Jonin can do. How does he know that technique? And Naruto then hands them all, all into a sexy jutsu. As Uruka would then, um, Uruka and Mizuki would fall back with a nosebleed. As Ino and Sakura say, still got that stupid jutsu. Still knows that stupid jutsu, huh? As Uruka, Uruka and Mizuki would eventually get back up and say, Naruto? As Naruto says, sorry, but it's too good of an opportunity. While I may have grown and skilled, it doesn't mean I still won't pull pranks. Well, I guess so. As Iruka says, I gotta talk to the Okage. If Naruto knows the Shadow Clone Jutsu, along with all of these skills, Naruto's definitely worthy of becoming a gen a genin ahead of time. <clears throat> so Iruka would go to Hughes to which Hughes would think the same thing, along with Jiraiya being there and thinking, because he told Hughes about Naruto's progress, saying that Naruto basically knew things that all the Jutsus basically that Minato do. He knew about the Rasengan, that it was incomplete somehow. And things like that. He knew where Minato's secret Jutsu library was. Not even him, he knew where it was at. Saying that Naruto has basically become Minato and Minato has become Naruto. It's kind of, this. they basically merged. He was in Winata and will take this into account and will dismiss Iruka and all his Zambu. Susan will say, Jiraiya, I want you to go get Naruto's clothing size. Why? I'm taking Naruto into the Anbu. Secretly, though. Which means you're going to have to tell him that if he's going to be an Anbu, he's going to have to um, get a lot of Horatian kunais and mark them. He's also going to have to, um, well, use a Shadow Clone to appear in the Academy every day. Because if not... Then, um, if not, then the village will get suspicious. We don't need them getting on my back about Naruto being in the Ombu. Jiraiya will nod. As Jiraiya will go and get Naruto's, um, Naruto's size and clothes and everything, it will bring up to Hiruzen. To which Hiruzen will place an order. Jiraiya will place an order for, uh, for some of Minato's kunai. And within a month, Naruto is called to the Hokage's office. Naruto will say, what, what do you want, um, old man? He was going to say, still calls me that, huh? Uh, oh, well. Hey, Prairie says, what are you doing, kid? It's this damn kid. As he was going to dismiss his uncle. As he was going to say, Naruto. Yes? Your skills have shown that you're well above Genin. And as far as Jiraiya says, you're probably about the skills of the fourth Hokage. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I've decided to allow you to become an Ambu because the village won't allow you, the, the civilians won't allow you to graduate early. 
or become a Joni right now. Um, because they'll sabotage your scores no matter what you do. So you will be a secret Ambu. Which means that you will have, I believe Jiraiya talked to you about it. Yes, he told me that if I did this, I would have to, if I did this, I would have to create a shadow clone every day and send it to the academy. For it to be, to appear to be there so that no one would get suspicious. Exactly. That's exactly what you'll have to do, Naruto. Fine. I'll join your Ambu. Good. Here are your clothes. Conceal them immediately. It's not until we're not and we'll grab and we'll grab a seal. Um we'll lift up his shirt and we'll and I'll show uh, not his shirt, his sleeve and we'll show a seal. It's not until we'll place the armor gear in a seal. And Susan says dismiss. You have duty tomorrow morning. Not until we're not and disappear. So I says he even knows the body flicker too. And it's so fast, faster than she sees. Says, yeah, well, Minato did try and see sweet. That's right, he did. Anyways. <clears throat> so, the next day, Naruto put on his armor gear, along with his taking taking a sword and mask, which was actually a fox mask and a sword that was delivered to him by Jiraiya. Because he just forgot to give him his mask and everything. As he was in a call, send out a signal. For, uh, we'll send out an Ambu to go to uh, the meeting place. Right there will be um, Jiraiya with, along with another Ambu. He said, Ambu, Fox. Naruto said, yes, the Okage has summoned us. Let's go. Naruto and Naruto will disappear along with Jiraiya and the Ambu. They will all appear. As um, Naruto said, yes, Hokage-sama, Naruto, today you will be placed on a team with, um, Dog, on a team with Dog and Tenzo, Naruto. Naruto will nod and says, now, they will be t teaching you the Anbu hand signs and everything, Give, basically giving you a rundown. And you will be learning to use a sword from there for the next couple of months while on missions. You got that? And, <clears throat> oh, I mean, not, not Naruto. He says Fox, by the way. Now, Fox. You will also. You will also. This will be added to your personal file. Which they won't, they won't, but it won't be shown. And you won't get the payment for them. Until you, you know. To keep as much secrecy. As Susan then says. Tenzo, dog, fox, stay. Everyone else dismissed. Says now, remove your mask, you three. They would all remove, remove their mask. Kakashi and Tenzo would look at be shocked. Especially um, Kakashi to see Naruto, of all people, in the Anbu. She, and she says, no, he can't be an Anbu. He's too young. As Jirai says, Kakashi, you remember that still I came to you about? Yes. It apparently merged Minato with Naruto, Minato's memories with Naruto. This Yuzhen is currently talking to Naruto so that he won't hear what they're talking about. He says, oh, so I'm so sorry, I forgot to give you your sword yesterday. He says, it's all right. Do I really have to learn Kenju too? I mean, you kind of, yeah. But you don't need, you don't really, you just need to learn it and get to Jonin level and so, with it. Then you don't even have to use it. You'll just have to carry it everywhere. But it's best if you use a sword, Naruto. Yeah. Well, I st all my kunai came, and I have those stockpiled. Good. <clears throat> Your first mission is tomorrow. You have an A-rank assassination of Sato. You mean the, yes, the ship and enterprises leader. He has apparently conquered, um, he has apparently went to try to conquer the Land of Waves. It's, so it's an Eric assassination. And yes, it will be added to Naruto's record, to your record as Naruto. So yes, Naruto. But it will be hidden until you graduate as a Genin. And then you'll be revealed at the tuning exam because you will be taking that. 
I will have you progress through the ranks. And that when you become a Chunin, or most likely become a Jonin after the Chunin exams, I'll tell you who your parents are. You know? Yeah. Jirai, does Jirai know? Jirai Sensei? Yes, he does, Naruto. But that's beside the point. Fine. So why Naruto doesn't really know about who his parents were is, is mostly because of Min a, a, a request Minato made with the Shinigami, so that Min Naruto wouldn't know who his parents were was before he was and told him. So basically, yeah. So now um, Naruto begins his training and goes on his A rank mission the next day. When he would arrive, Kakashi would say, "All right, Fox." It's your first assassination mission. We think you should be the one to do it. Naruto would not ask. He would then take out two kunais. <clears throat> As Tenzo would say, that's the... So you know their jutsu, huh? Yeah, Kakashi. Wait, how do I know their name? Kakashi says, don't use our real names out here. Naruto says, but I don't know how I know that name. Do I know you? He says, no. But when we're out in the field, it, you may know my name, but when we're out in the field, make sure you call me Dog, okay? Got it. Thank you, Dog. It's not until then throw a kunai in front of the base. As a man will see a kunai appear in front of him, he would be worried. As he's about to scream out for, for the rest of the men to appear, when a yellow flash would appear in front of him, and before he can do anything, his, hair is, his head is lobbed off by a sword. Just the basic swipe with the sword. Tenzo says he has so much strength, but he's not like a normal kid. It's like he basically, you know, he's done it before. Yes, Tenzo, something happened to Naruto in that coma. I'm not really allowed to tell you about it, really. Truly what happened. Just about it was some shield that, that made Naruto like this. That made him know the Yandami's Jutsu. Says, I've been working on this. I wonder if it's complete. As Naruto then jumps up, jumps so far up into the sky, Kakashi says, What is he doing? That's it. As Naruto makes a gigantic Rasengan, which overshadows the place, a huge Rasengan, enough to take down the entire base, which is just like a four story mansion. As it dissipates before Naruto can touch the, uh, touch the place with it, as Naruto begins to fall down. Naruto says, Dang it. Kakashi is about to jump when he sees Naruto flash away to the corner in front. Naruto says, Well, let's just do this old school. As Naruto goes in and kills, um, sneaks past everyone when he finally sees the um, room. So Naruto will sneak out of a window in the back and out of a bathroom window and will head to this room's window. Naruto will sneak in. <clears throat> as Naruto will then appear behind the man. As the man was um, here at four click. It's not just damn it. So he would turn around and see a man on Ambu man. He was he's about to yell before Naruto plunges a kunai through his throat. That takes off his head. As he seals the head away and then disappears. Being right next to Kakashi. Yes, this is where he took out the second kunai. Kakashi and um, Tenzo was sent um, was sent a, a weight added to the wrench. They would look over it and see Naruto. He says, "Did you do it?" Naruto holds up a scroll. I have his head. Good. <clears throat> Thank God the shot for the Shadow Clone Jutsu. You would never have been able to f learn all the rules of the um of the Abu. Yeah. Thank God for that. Well, good job, Naruto. Let's go to the Hokage. And from here on, in a land of ways, Gato would eventually come back to see his brother Sato. And when he sees him dead, he thinks that one of the land of waves, a person of the land of waves did this. And thinks that it's Kaiza, since Kaiza is always fighting off him and his brother. And he thinks that Kaiza somehow snuck in here and killed his brother. So, he would kill, this is why he would kill Kaiza, and would then subjugate the land of waves for years to come. Now with this, that means Gato bought out all shipping companies and isn't no one is able to get to the land um to Konoha or anywhere else for a long time. 
So when they would arrive, Naruto and his and um and Kakashi and them would all appear in the Hokage's office. It's Naruto hand over the scroll. So yes, good job, Naruto. Um, good job, Fox Dog and um Tizzo. Here's your permission pay. He was gonna bring out three scrolls. If we're gonna have a time skip, basically of Naruto um of four, Naruto's red. He's I want to say he's around nine now. 10, 11, 12. Three year time skip. I'm sorry for being so stupid. <laughs> uh, a, 12, a three year time skip to the age of 12. So Naruto has become, um, well, Fox has become renowned as the second iteration, the man who fought the Raikage. Because, yes, on occasion, Naruto had to fight the Raikage. When the Raikage found out there being another iteration or another yellow flash, he sent out an Ambu unit with him to go find him. When they got some intel on when this yellow flash, and the village is also known about the yellow flash of Konoha, it was known about it. They, um, you know, they were happy that maybe someone, the young Daimi had, had maybe had a legacy somewhere, like a brother or a nephew or something that just surfaced out of nowhere. No one would ever suspect that it's Naruto because, you know, Naruto is still in the academy. But today's graduation is now. This is when um, Naruto would appear in front of Hughes. It's Hughes and says, Naruto. She says, Yes, okay. It's, it's time for you to become part of a Guinea team since you have no friends that are your age besides Shikamaru and Choji, and that's around it. That's it. That's all you have. So I'll be putting you on a Guinea team. What? You're demoting me? Not more of a demotion, Naruto. When you become a Joni, most likely after the tuning is down, since I doubt anyone there will be able to kill you or beat you. And you've shown the skills to become a tuning. I'm not just going to outright promote you. I want you to work for it in the tuning exams. Even though you technically work for it, just blame, blame the writer. Damn, traitor. It's your fault. Who are you talking to? Someone, Naruto. Anyways. Naruto, <clears throat> you'll be part of Team 7 under Kakashi, or, as you know, under Dog. You are to reveal that you two are in the Ambu, and you are not to, if you need be, you can reveal that you are the Yellow Flash, but only to your teammates, and kill all enemies who see you being the, who see you using this Horatio, your Horatian in the Rasengan. You got that? Yes, okay, okay. good. You were dismissed. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to be ending part one of What If Naruto Was Like Minato. I was thinking about making another movie, but no. Nah. I'm making a movie at the end of the series. But yeah, this is basically the end of it. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace and goodbye.